Look at this, okay? Let's let's can we talk about this guitar now? Uh sure. All right. This is called a Jazzica. And what they did, Hoffner, this Hoffner sponsored me. I was at a guitar show and um, I was playing and people would gather and, and we'd do our spiel on our courses. And I was right next to the Hoffner guy. And the Hoffner guy says, you know what, we ought to sponsor you because I'm glad I'm next to you because when you play, people stop. Otherwise, they just say, eh, let them look at it and they're gone. So I said, okay. And so they gave me one of these. Well, actually, I ended up with a few guitars, but, um, and we sold a ton of them. And this one, a uh, fella, uh, I sold it to, has taken ill. And he is uh, wanting to liquidate his guitars. This particular one is a 2003. It's one of 50. They made 50 in, they call this the hand rubbed uh, vintage antique finish. It's like a violin finish. It's, it's all hand rubbed. And, um, okay, it's um, solid sides and back. I don't know about the rims. They're maple. And the, the top is spruce. But look at how bitchin' those F-holes are. And by the way, it does have these that fit in there as feedback suppression things. Bobby Broom played one of these for a long, long time. So did uh, Conti. And a lot of other folks did. And um, so it looks, it looks like it's from the 1800s. It's got a one piece maple neck, kind of like a fender neck, 25 and a half inch scale length. Um, and the beauty of the Jazzica is it's got, it's small up here, so you can get it close to you, but it's got this huge body depth, so there's a lot of volume inside the guitar. Now it's got 24 frets. Here's A, B, C, D, E. So you can get all the way up here.
was that? What was what? Oh, your strap came off. Yeah, my strap fell off. So anyway, um, this guitar cuts through the band. You know, it's uh, because of the position of the pickup, it's a little on the uh, brighter side, but it cuts through the band like nobody's business. So it's it's got a mid-rangey sound. It's great for the... the uh, uh, That kind of sound. You know what I'm talking about? So I, I think it works great for in a big band, this guitar. And like I said, when you go to play a solo then, it's got that, uh, it can cut through. Now when I got the guitar, he had put a tunamanic on it and it just made it super bright. I mean, super bright. I, it, I put this, um, this is the correct bridge that should be on this guitar. And for some reason, the action had never, it, the guitar had never been set up. And I thought, what, wasn't I setting them up back then or something? I, and I might not have been. I, I forget the history of this particular guitar. Um, but anyway, the action was very high. Uh, so anyway, um, I've got the action just beautiful on it. And um, so we're going to offer it up. It's got a, um, this pickup ring was, um, had busted. And he had, um, because they were made out of ebony. Uh, the very, and so this one is a hard, uh, kind of a, softer plastic kind of thing and it's one of the few and I don't know if you can see this Wes it's one of the few pickups that you can actually adjust you see those two little screws there on a floating pickup so you they're like little set screws you you can raise and lower each side and I uh, lowered the the base side so it's a little more even and uh, left that side up now it's got a tiny hairline crack in the ebony bridge. I don't know if you, I don't think you can even see it. I doubt it. Um, but yeah, it's you know it's reinforced underneath, so it's nothing to worry about. Um, and it's got uh, beautiful in, you know, the block inlays, and then. Nice binding, and the neck just feels really sweet. So yeah, we're going to. Uh, what kind of? Uh, what pickup is it? It's a Kent Armstrong, uh, and and unlike the Kent Armstrongs that um, other guys like Eastman would put in, Kent would give them the numbers, and uh, they would, you know, with what magnet to use. And, and uh, how many wines and all that, then, and they would make it. Well, these these particular ones, I believe, don't hold me to it, uh, were actually wound by him. Let's play another tune. That's uh,
that only because I said I was going to <laughs> this morning. So anyway. How about hearing it just maybe not a whole, just on a track a little bit. Oh yeah, let's do that. probably remind people that you're going straight into the board and there's no amp. Yeah, straight into the board and there's no amp. And so you put these in if you want to 
it, it starts feeding back. And then also you have your strings on the there, right? I do. I have the Rich Severson set, which is uh, 13, 15, 20, 28, 38, 48 hike. Hi, Rich here again. I just wanted to say thanks for checking out my videos. If you like it, hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and sign up for those notifications so you can see all the cool guitar videos we put out each week. If you want more lessons right now, I have hundreds of them at guitarcollegelibrary.com. Check out our low price monthly streaming memberships. And if you want to learn jazz, check out my course, Jazz Guitar Improv. I take beginner jazz players and get them playing awesome solos on the fly. You'll see the link for the JGI course in the description below. Hey, thanks again for watching my channel. We'll see you again real soon with a new video.